The COVID-19 pandemic is a social, economic and psychological challenge for all of us around the world. But especially for vulnerable communities like for refugees living in congested camps, the outbreak of this virus could be catastrophic. One of the poorest countries in the world, Malawi, in Southeast Africa, has for years generously offered refuge to people fleeing war and conflict all over the continent. Planned 25 years ago for 10,000 people, the Zaleka refugee camp hosts about 40,000 refugees and asylum seekers today. How can one control the spread of the virus here? <laughs> Social distancing is impossible when people don't have running water in their homes and have no choice but to share communal water points. When refugees who have no work permission rely on monthly food rations for which they wait in long queues, often for hours, at the food distribution points. And despite all respected efforts of humanitarian aid, healthcare in camps is of course limited. Hello, I'm Amani. I'm living in a refugee camp. We have no way to keep social distance, but we are trying to protect ourselves and others. Amani and his friends are looking for ways to help their community in this crisis. They meet at the little techno lab in the heart of the camp a lab founded by Remy Kakwaya, a Burundian refugee, who wants to empower young minds through knowledge and technology. Here he teaches them coding, app development and robotics. My name is Jana. I was born in Malawi. I met Remy a while ago and I was really impressed about his unending enthusiasm in teaching other people computer programming skills, making young refugees more independent. So at the beginning of this year, a friend of mine in Germany had an idea of bringing a Prusa 3D printer kit to Malawi for the guys at Techno Lab to set up themselves. And we held a little Fab Lab, a 3D printing workshop, in which we taught them computer-aided design and computer-aided manufacturing workflow. So these guys are now very competent in using a 3D design CAD software and in printing or producing 3D printed parts. When the corona panic eventually hit Zaleka camp, Remy and his students immediately had the idea of 3D printing their own protective equipment and masks and they sent me these videos. I wanted just to let you know that we are able to print and design 3D effective masks. In spite of current Cologne outbreak, we are trying to create our own protective mask finding our own solution to protect ourselves. So this is our first 3D mask printed at Technolab. So this is how it will look like. We have the two things here we put here. You put on your, your ears. So they've been testing various certified prototypes that are being used in Europe and they're looking for the most effective and material efficient solutions for face shields, face masks, accessories and helpful protective equipment for the camp inhabitants, for aid workers and even the camp hospital. They could be able to print about 20 masks a day offering emergency aid right here in the camp. However, we are not having enough filament that we can print as many protective equipment like this one to help other people in the community. So the problem is that they only have limited material to produce an effective amount of emergency aid for the camp. Um, plastic filament, gauzes, uh, material for face shields are difficult to get and the borders to South Africa are closed and even from Europe um, shipping is extremely expensive at the moment. So. These guys can't stem this on their own. Um, I'm in touch with people in Germany who are actually doing this kind of thing themselves. They're producing uh, medical protective equipment for the COVID pandemic using 3D printed parts. And they've helped me to collect filament, um, hygienic gauzes, plastic PET sheets for the face masks, which is really, really difficult to get at the moment because it's sold out everywhere. And 
this is being collected i really want to send this to the guys in zaleka because they are there in the center of their own problems they know what is needed they know how much to produce they could really really help their community and um I, I, I truly believe that they will make have an impact and, and make a difference. So I'm asking you to help in any small way, just any form of support would be greatly appreciated. I will be so grateful if you can support us with those filaments in order to help the community. We appreciate any help. Thank you so much.